Hello everyone. My name is Jared Taylor and I am part of the Biology 112 teaching team here at UBC. In this video, I would like to take some time to introduce you to our course and give you an idea of what Biology 112 is all about. But first things first, let me start by saying welcome to Biology 112. We are excited that you will be joining us and attending our class during this semester. Biology 112 is a first year biology lecture course here at UBC and is one of the primary starting points for a number of life science related learning paths. In the UBC calendar, Biology 112 is officially described as biology of the cell. As you can probably guess from the name, we will be spending our time during class exploring various aspects of living cells. Biology 112 is designed to be an introduction to a number of advanced biology topics, such as cell biology, molecular biology, microbiology, and biochemistry. Hence, it is a prerequisite for various upper year courses in these areas. Now, as I said, we will be studying living cells during our time in Biology 112. In particular, we will focus on the structure and function of various components of living cells, such as cell membranes, how they function as both a barrier to the environment and a gateway for molecules that are important to the cell. Proteins how they are produced by the cell, and how they fold into their final functional shape. Genes, how they are regulated by the cell, and how they are used as templates for proteins and enzymes. DNA, how it is structured, and how it is replicated. And metabolism, how it is used by the cell to harness both energy and building blocks by breaking down food molecules. We will also look at how metabolism can harness energy from the environment to produce food molecules. Finally, we will compare how these components differ in different types of cells, for example, between eukaryotic cells like plant cells and prokaryotic cells such as bacteria. These introductory topics and more will be explored by us together during Biology 112. By the end of this course, you will have gained a firm understanding of these topics and will be ready to continue your academic journey towards more complex biological and biochemical concepts. And that is a whirlwind introduction to Biology 112. In future videos, I will introduce you to some of the individual topics you will encounter in more detail. 